Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those who are new here, welcome. My name is Vivian and I'm a photographer. Um, so today I want to show you guys um, photography accessories that I think every photographer needs and um, some accessory that is just good to have. It's optional. I don't think um, everyone needs them. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so the first thing is some kind of like lens wipes like this this is the one i use um yeah so because uh we want to keep our lens clean and we don't want to touch them or use like um toilet paper or like some kind of cloth that may damage the lens um so yeah i just like recommend using lens wipes wipes lens wipes <laughs> Yeah, so um, I've been using this for years and all my lenses are still in good condition. I never um, scratch my lenses. Um, yeah, so they keep it clean, keep the oil or dust out. Mm. So this is, I think, is a number one accessory that every photographer would need. And the number two on my list is this kind of like air blower. So like after you clean the lens, um, you see you still see some dust. So it's good to just like blow it instead of like using your mouth. And also when you are like changing lens, sometimes changing lenses, um, inside your camera body, you may find some dust, and it will totally ruin the whole picture or video that you are taking. So it's so um, come in handy. Very important to use like one of these guys to um, clean your lenses and camera. But I mean, I still recommend you to get your cameras professionally cleaned by um, maybe like a camera store um, if it is like very dirty. Um, yeah, but I think this is like just like a very good tool for um, a regular maintenance for your cameras and your, your lenses. Like this. Um, I think the name is like air blower dust cleaner. Um, you can just buy it on Amazon for like like five or six dollars. I think it's very cheap, but it's so useful. I I feel like I use it for all my camera and lenses, just regularly and keep them in good shape. So number three on my list is camera straps. Um, it's so important. I think every camera just have camera strap, but if you don't have camera strap, just get one. Um, so if you're like me, that I always shoot with, I used to shoot with two cameras and two or three lenses. Um, then I'll just get those dual camera straps. This is the one I pick up on Ixi. Um, it's leather. Look like this. So I just I can like mount two cameras um, on each side. So if you just like wear like this on your shoulder, like a little backpack, and you mount your cameras here. So this is my dual camera strap. But if you're like me now, I basically just shoot with one camera and one lens. Um, most of my photo shoot. Then you just need one good um, camera strap. I think those ones that come with the camera, when you buy a new camera, they usually come with a strap. Those are the best. Um, if not, then make sure you get one that is like, um, how do you say this? It's like slide. Uh, it doesn't slide proof. Uh, so that's mean like you can put it on your shoulder and it won't just like slide, you know, like, oh, see? <laughs> It doesn't just like slide off your camera. So yeah, they're very important. Um, so you don't have to like handhold your camera all the time when you like walk from one um, spot to another spot. You just like put it on your shoulder or crossbody and walk around with your camera. Yeah. So if you don't have one, you really need one. Camera strike. Excuse me, my baby just like in the background talking. Um, but she's so cute and I hope you guys enjoy her voice and my background noise. Now let's move on to the next accessory that I think every photographer needs. Um, so I shoot with natural light and I shoot outside for almost all my photo shoot. I don't really do studio light or I don't shoot in a studio because I don't have a studio. 
Um, yeah, so I think um, everyone like me, you would need a good LED light. I know I'm like saying that, oh, I should with natural light a lot, but you know, sometimes it's just like really cloudy or the golden hour just passed by so fast and then it's like really dark blue hour. It's just like kind of hard to control the lighting with natural light when it's like, especially when you're scheduling kind of in a later of the day. So I think you'll really need a good LED light. Um, this is the one I use. Um, it's called We Light. We Light K21 LED light. Um, I use this one a lot because it's just super super easy. Uh, you can control it here in the back. Or um, for me, I can just like download the apps and it's super easy to use when I have the apps on. Um, and then I can just say like, change color and um, the power, power, how strong and bright. Um, like for me, I just like having a little more um, backup plan for my um, photo shoot. So having an LED light, I can, I always just say, like, basically I only use the orange one. Um, yeah, I just like change to, Kind of a orange light. Let me see if it's orange enough. All right, somewhere here. Um, yeah. So and then, um, you can you can go like really bright. Let me see. Uh, make it very bright. The brightest here. And then, um, you can just like put it. Oops, I accidentally just turn it off. Let me just turn that on. Okay, here. So I just like put it behind the the models. Um, yeah. Should I fix some golden hour lighting? Or I just add some extra lighting on? Maybe put it very far. I just turn it off. So yeah, this is the one I use and I love it because um, on both sides, both end here, I can just mount. The light on a tripod so I can make it like very very bright and mount that on a tripod and then like maybe hide it behind a tree or something um, yeah just for some extra lighting um, or like in the front in the side on the side yeah so I just love this light I bring it with me for like a backup plan um, backup lighting for all my photo shoot so um, yeah this is the one I have if you're interested yeah so a good LED light for you guys this next item um, that every photographer will need is a watch so um, you don't really need an Apple watch um, you just need a watch that can tell time because for me I uh, the kind of photo shoot that I do I usually just set up a schedule for like half an hour 45 minutes or one hour so it's very important to be on time to shoot on time to finish on time and um, it just I just don't like holding my phone and be like looking at my phone um, during the photo shoot um, so when you just wear a watch you can just you know look at the time and help you to be on time with everything <laughs> okay and this next item is a lens uv filter um so i think this is a really good accessory that photographer that a photographer will need um it's just that um you know sometimes you're not shooting at like golden hour or like darker hour or studio light you're shooting in like sunny day or just like a really bright day and you know you still want to shoot at like 1.4 1.8 or 1.2 um you get your subject in focus but your background just like so so bright so um a uv filter can protect your lens um, and your camera sensor and it's actually can help you to get um, the background you know to have when you do the editing you um, get some more colors if that makes sense am I making any sense yeah so a filter um, would be really good and useful and it will also help prevent your lens your glass to be scratched because you'll put a filter um, mounted 
you know, in front of your lens. So if anything, you're like walking through a forest or something, um, the filter will be in front of your expensive glasses. So yeah, it's basically just protect your glasses. Um, I think there's like some knowledge or some technique like how you choose your filter, like how dark you want to choose it and um, the size and stuff. So you really need to um, research from your lenses, like what size is your lens and um, how dark or like what kind of protection you want. Because I do have some kind of lighter, not so dark um, filter. It's just for protection. It's nothing with like, you know, um, darken or doing UV. So it's like many, many filters available in the market right now. So you want to choose something that um, fits what you need. And here is another item that I have on my um, useful list. So this is like a camera, um, Hold a camera cover. Um, so I used to shoot by the water a lot, and in Hawaii we just have rain every day, like every day, like different time or maybe different part of the island. So it's just so likely that I will shoot. Um, you know, like maybe get my camera wet by the rain or by the ocean, the mist. So it's really great to have a little cover when I just know that I need an extra layer to protect my camera and lenses. So I just like put my camera here like this. It's like you put the hand and um, excuse me, and um, right here has a like a zip so you can open and put your camera. And it doesn't really have a. Uh, any plastic here so you can just feel free to put your lens here and your lens your glasses will do the work um yeah so uh, extra protection for you know from uh from being damaged by any waters or rain okay so the next thing that i think is so great to have is a good tripod so this is the one i use um so when you purchase a tripod, just make sure it can hold your camera and lenses because a camera and lenses can be very heavy and very expensive. You don't want to buy something so cheap and they won't hold your camera and lenses or maybe some wind just blow and then... <laughs> yeah, so um, I think it's like good to have but not a must-have because um, for me, it's a must-have. Uh, I just do self-portrait um, of my family all the time. I don't I don't um, just hire photographers because um, sometimes I um, yeah I just I just want like a few photo shoot I mean photos of my family. So a tripod is a must have to like help you it's like a second assistant to help you shoot. And the next item is very similar to that tripod um, but I think it's just like such a good accessory that I have is I think it's like a gorilla pod or mono pod um, yeah so this is the one I have I'm actually using it right now um, yes yeah, so, so I bring this um, gorilla pod thing with me to all my travel literally all my travel um, it's just because the tripod is just so heavy and I'm not going to bring my tripod everywhere especially when I'm traveling like when I want to travel and I have a lot of things on my luggage and I just don't want to fit in a very heavy tripod so this come in handy I just bring this to all my trips it's, um, I think this one you, I, uh, this one can hold heavy cameras um, and lenses combo so yep look at the picture they're using like some kind of like heavy maybe like is it a 1d or something and prime lenses zoom lenses flashlight here yeah i just love it i got this like a couple years ago and i just love it i use it all the time it's worth the money and one thing about those tripod or the gorilla pod, monopod, whatever pod you're using, 
Um, I know, I understand that not every photographer shows with a camera and lenses all the time. Um, sometimes you just want to hold, I mean, like use your iPhone or whatever phone, smartphone. So it's very great to pick up one of these um, accessory tool thing, um, just to mount your the camera. You know, so in the bag has um, the tripod mount and also in here. So I usually just like mount it like this and um, you know put it on my tripod or camera when I want to film something just with my phone, not with my um, camera and lenses. So it, that is just like such a useful, useful accessory. Okay, here is something that I think every photographer needs. Um, and I think every photographer has is lens caps. So um, I think when you buy a lens, it will always come with a cap. But sometimes when you buy it like used or out of Facebook marketplace or something, maybe they just lost it or maybe you will lose your cap during a photo shoot. I lost a couple um, lens cap, you know, just bring my camera out or like, fell out of pocket. Um, but I always buy a replacement because I just cannot have my lens um, sitting there without without a cap, you know, to protect them. So it's just like, it's a must have. I think it's a must have. I think it's a common sense that it's must have. Um, you just need them to um, be on your lenses um, when you're not using your lenses. Okay, so these next items, I think you'll be surprised that I don't think that it's a must have. I think they are like good to have. They are camera backpacks. So I had four camera backpacks before and now it's only down to three. Um, and honestly, I think I stopped using them since I just started shooting um, with one camera and one lens. Um, I just use my, di uh, my baby's diaper bag. I just hold the camera and lenses and then the diaper bag just hold whatever my baby needs and yeah, and then I just go for a photo shoot. But um, it's really good to have um, some camera backpacks. I have these three here. Um, I'm not, I will try not to go in detail so that the video won't be too long. So this is the first one. So when you buy a camera backpack, it's just so important that you buy something that is rainproof or weatherproof. Um, yeah, so this is the first one that I used to use all the time when I shoot with two cameras or three cameras and two, three, four lenses. Um, it can just hold everything. So this is the one I use. It's very heavy duty, friendly. I can like hold onto like my one or two camera and have my third cameras here and two other lenses. Two lenses on the camera with my dual camera straps. Um, and yeah, it can also, you can mount this on around your waist so you don't have to like carry on it and also have the strap thing inside that you can, I can use it like on my shoulder or like crossbody so this is my first one um, here's my second one that I use for every trip um, yeah, so this is like my travel camera backpack um, in here, I just put whatever I need to bring on the fly. Um, this is a plastic plate. Uh, you can put some SD card on inside SD card case. Here, I put my iPad um, on here. And this is the camera session. So I um, when I go travel, I usually just bring one camera and two lenses. Um, yeah, I try not to bring like two camera and three or four lenses. So maximum when I go travel, I just bring one camera and two lenses. Yep, yeah, so here I can just fit my one camera and two lenses. Yep, so this is my travel camera backpack. Look like this. And here is my third one that is just Huge. Um, so when I back then when I shoot like wedding or whatever that I just don't want like a crossbody or a tote bag so this will come in handy I can like um, put all my cameras here even the one that is like uh, 
you know, on my dual strap, I can put everything back here, uh, pack everything back here, you know, like two or three cameras and few lenses and my dual camera strap and uh, extra batteries. Um, not the trap, but yeah, a lot of things, maybe my phone, my iPad, I don't really bring my iPad to work, but yeah, this, it's just, um, my backpack when I used to just go on like heavy work um, schedule. Also, I think it's windproof and weatherproof, very doable, a lot of button that sometimes drives me crazy. I'm like, I just want to get one lenses out and then I have to like, you know, unlock all the button and, and then open the zip here. But you know, it's all for the protection because the camera lenses are expensive. Okay, and now that I talk, I know I say that all the time that I shoot with one camera and one lens. Most of my photo shoot, like recent photo shoot now, is like my new transformation. But sometimes it's still good to bring an extra lens, extra lens with me. And um, I think this comes with one of the lenses that I bought. I think it's a Sigma uh, lens that I bought. I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, this is like a lens bag. It's not like a camera backpack. It's just a lens bag. So inside is literally enough to hold one lens. And of course, it's weatherproof. Um, if you just like put one lens inside, it's not gonna have. You don't have to worry about getting ring on. It's this long strap that go cross body over. You know, just on your shoulder. Yep. So, like now, I can just like hold on to my one camera and one lens, and maybe bring one lens with me to my photo shoot. For example, my Sony A7C and my Sigma 2470. That is like my golden combo for right now, like this day, um, this day of my career. And I'll always, i uh, just like try to bring, um a 135 or 85 prime lens with me all right everyone so these are the thing i think that is like great accessory or items for every photographer to have or like good to have um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i did have a tons of other accessory that i think is like a waste of money or i totally think that you don't need them um so if you guys are interested in those, let me know, uh, comment down below so uh, I will know if I want to make another video of those accessories that you know you don't need. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!